Mm. <sighs> hey guys, welcome to a new video. Welcome back to my channel, blah blah blah. Okay, so <laughs> I was hoping I wouldn't be filming this soon. Um, I have moved to another country. I am now in my new house. Um, think I found my new filming station. Look, I got like a white background. I'm like, uh, I'm professional now. Mm. Where to start? Okay. I wake up this morning and I have a tweet from someone, random person. And uh, in fact, let me go grab my phone real quick. I get a tweet from someone this morning. It was a complete random person. And uh, King Walters. Hey. Um, and they tweeted me saying, you should go check Joey Graceffa's new video. First I was like, um, okay. Like this is a completely random person. So I was like, why would they think that I would, like, I don't watch Joey's channel. I don't, like, I, I, I don't know. So I'm like, whatever. Like, so I go on to, I didn't check his YouTube. I checked Joey's Twitter. Uh, I checked Twitter and lo and behold, I see thumbnail for his new video. <laughs> and that video has me in it looking a hot mess. Okay, first of all, let me say some. That Trixie makeup, <sighs> Trixie's makeup clearly isn't for everyone, but that video was for me. I was experimenting with drag makeups and yeah, but... <sighs> Like, really, he could have picked a better video to put in the thumbnail, like, shit. Um, so I see that, and I'm like, whoa. And, like, it has, like, Hainer, and then, you know, Arrow to me. So I'm, like, thinking, what the fuck is going on? How did he find my YouTube? How did he know? How does how does Joey fucking Graceffa, how does Joey, 8 million subscriber Graceffa, know about me? You know, my channel, I was getting like 100 views on my videos. I had like 40 subscribers, like I've just started. So I was like, what's going on? And I, at first I didn't want to watch the video because I was like, you know what, shut it down, don't care. And then, so my friend watched the video and she said like, he said this, it was about a comment I left on his video. Now that video was titled, trying out girl products and he was trying out makeup and skincare. I commented on that video saying something like you look like a cunt or whatever, like putting gays back 60 years for labeling makeup as girl products. I, as a male who wears makeup, that is highly offensive to me. It, it just rubbed me the wrong way. So I left a comment and you know, with these big YouTubers, a lot of them, they don't read the comments. Nowadays, apparently it's a trend to go into your comments and read hate comments or whatever. I think it's completely stupid because you're kind of defeating the purpose. Like you're making this video to make fun of the haters, but you're creating more hate. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, like I found out like why I'm in the video and I found out like, you know, he went through a couple, he said a few things, uh, said I look like a bug, which I did. Someone posted a meme. Oh my God, let me show you the meme. A mess. Fucking zooming in to Wolverine. So all this is going down and I'm still just like, what the hell is going on? So I go to my YouTube channel and I have tons of comments, tons of new views, subscribers, like, my channel literally was a freaking pile of crap in the corner and all of a sudden I'm getting like all these like comments and views and my subscriber count has like tripled. Thank you by the way, we'll get into that later. So I'm like freaking out, I'm like what the hell? I've been trying to like get hold of him, I've been trying to like talk to him, like being like what's up, like can we talk about this and shit. And then I started reading some of the comments and now my last video my latest one was me doing my 10 year old niece's makeup. That is the one that was like on the front page, like when new people come in, that's like the first thing they see. So obviously that video got the most comments, the most views and blah, blah, blah. And a lot of those comments were people saying nasty things about my 10 year old fucking niece. Are you kidding me? If you wanna hate on me, that is fair game. I said what I said to Joey, that's cool. By the way, what I said to Joey wasn't me hating on him. I don't hate Joey freaking Graceffa. He made a video that was stupid and I pointed that out. It was a fact. 
It wasn't me being a hater. I didn't tell him to go kill himself or whatever. I called him a cunt, which I'm sorry, like the word that I use, I could have used a lot worse. I'm not a hater of Joey. I don't hate the kid. I'm sure he's a lovely guy. In fact, I don't hate anyone. That's just not in my nature. I left a comment because I got angry at something that he had done, which I am freaking allowed to an opinion, but to come onto my channel and then he did that fucking annoying thing where YouTubers will make videos like that, but then they'll go and say like, oh, don't, don't leave hate to these people. Bitch, you know what your fans are like. People know what your fans are like. You really think your fans aren't gonna go and defend you? Like, that's bullshit. So now I'm getting comments like, go kill yourself, you're ugly. <sighs> like, so many nasty negative things. And like, getting comments about like, my niece calling her ugly little whatever, and blah, blah, blah. Like, that's just not on, it really is not on. I said what I said, so attack me, not my family. That is disgusting of him. And honestly, like just to put out a comment like saying, eh, don't leave hate, that's bullshit. That is such bullshit. But I guess um, if Joey ever watches this, dude, like what I said, I'm pretty sure he even like agreed with it or he said I may have like misunderstood the way he used it, but no, you tagged it as girl products. They're not girl products. They are products for everyone, clearly. Him saying makeup is girl products, you're putting all the male uh, makeup eyes to shame. You're offending every male in makeup. That is exactly what he's doing. Male makeup eyes on YouTube is literally on the rise. It has been on the rise. Freaking Manny M.U. A had a freaking, had a Maybelline freaking campaign. Like, are you kidding me? That's why I was so upset. And I think he even said in the video, oh, I get why he's upset. He's a guy, a makeup artist or whatever. And then he called me a bug and then something about my black video. And that's another thing. Okay, so my black makeup matters video. Makeup is what I know. It's all I know. And in today's climate, I really was trying to do something good. Okay, some people may have not exactly liked it, I may have said, I don't even, that's the thing, like, I think I mentioned the, I mentioned it once in the video, and then it was straight to makeup. I didn't go on, I didn't talk about the issues. That's just been a trend with the makeup eyes called the Bomb Challenge, which is black owned makeup brand challenge. I don't have the money to do that. I don't have the money to go and buy a whole bunch of new makeup. So that's what I did. I thought it was a fun, unique way of supporting black people. And if people took that the wrong way, then I'm sorry, I really wasn't trying to offend anyone. I'm not fucking racist. Like, it just boggles my mind. That video was not me trying to offend anyone. I really wasn't. That was my way of trying to show support. Makeup is what I know. Makeup is the only way that I can express myself and find that I can use it as a platform to show support to people. Cleared that up. My Trixie Mattel video, uh, I don't have the face to do Trixie Mattel makeup and I am not the makeup artist that she is, but it was something I wanted to do, it was something I thought would be fun, blah blah blah, I'm a huge fan of hers, so yeah. Yeah, no, honestly, like, I would just love it if, like, Joey would get into contact with me so we can talk, we can... Honestly though, like, Joey, thank you. Thank you so much because my subscriber count has tripled. I've got a ton of new people watching. I've got a ton of new views. The hate comments, I honestly, like I'll probably do a video laughing at them because some of them are hilarious. Like people are so creative these days. I'm not sitting here crying. I'm not whining. I'm actually grateful. Like to be, for him to use me, like my videos are in, a, Joey has 8 million subscribers. Okay, so I am potentially being exposed to 8 million people. You know how good that feels? To feel like I'm getting exposure. Like, I started this channel like four, five months ago, <laughs> and now I'm on Joey Graceffa's channel. Me and Joey Graceffa basically collabed, so, you know, like, I never thought like my channel would grow like this, so thank you, honestly. And with the hate, I'm actually getting a lot of nice comments, so thank you to those people. Um, I guess I'll see you guys at the bank when I go collect that YouTube check from all those views there. <laughs> I'm not sorry about the comment, you know, it was something that angered me a lot. Like, I don't leave comments on people's videos, for so for me to feel so passionately about something, like, you know it's real. I guess that's all I gotta say. Uh, I hope you guys 
have a nice day to people leaving hate comments thanks i guess bringing more traffic to my channel is always a good thing to all the new subscribers welcome i'm sure you'll love all the new content that's coming joey actually gave me a lot of new <laughs> ideas i'm thinking about doing like a bugs life tutorial or the read tutorial and yeah so goodbye and have a nice day